I'm Claire and welcome to the Claire Closet video series, Female Entrepreneurs in Small Towns. We're back here in the sanctuary with the incredible musician, Julia Finnegan. So please welcome Julia. Uh, thanks, Claire. Um, so I'm Julia, I'm a singer-songwriter around Kingston and I just finished my first year at Queen's University. I'm a fine arts student and I've been playing around Kingston for the past six or seven years. Um, and I just started playing in the surrounding area, so Picton, and I just started playing in Toronto as well. Um, so yeah, it's been a really fun journey. Yeah, so tell us a little bit, how, when did you start? When did you start playing? How young were you? Um, so it kind of started out, I always, my dad always played guitar um, when I was younger, um, and he played in high school, and I just kind of wanted to be like him, so that's why I started playing guitar. Um, but then for my seventh or eighth birthday, I got a guitar, um, and then I started playing from there. Um, then when I moved to Kingston, I kind of continued doing that, and uh, I met Andrew Van Horen, who let me oh, okay. open up for him, um, and then he encouraged me to enter the Renaissance Music um, Songwriting Contest, and then so oh. that kind of got me. Um, How'd you do? I came in first for my category for the under 18. So <laughs> That's really exciting. Yeah, so I was 13, I think, at the time. Um, so that was really exciting for me. It really encouraged me to keep going. Um, so that was kind of when I started out. Now, that's interesting you say that, because I think one of the other episodes, we were talking with someone else, and they were saying, you know, having one person to give you some encouragement. Now, you said, Andrew, how did you, where did you get the confidence? Because 13 years old, not too many 13-year-olds will stand out and sing a song and perform something that's really personal. Where did you find that confidence? Oh, absolutely. Um, I think my dad, obviously, like, they've always been really supportive. Like, when I was little, I remember my dad would write songs for us, and we'd kind of, like, dance along. And um, I remember one time he like let me help him write a song for my mom. So I kind of started doing that. They gave me a little bit of confidence. And then Andrew obviously like, gave me a lot more confidence, just kind of, because you, sometimes you don't really believe your parents, like they're kind of biased. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's so true, and so you had external influences yeah, to help you. Yeah, so it's nice to have somebody take a chance on you, and that really gave me a lot of And you kept going, and then got reaffirmation from other people. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and, yeah. You, and you, it's nice, and I want to talk about a little bit of the business side, because as a musician, it's really, really big. Um, it's a creative outlet it's really personal but a lot of people mm -hmm. forget especially some of the musicians that are listening you forget that it's also there's a huge business aspect that you have to be putting yourself out there both on social media booking gigs and stuff how did how did you do the transition from just performing getting your parents to get you you know out there yeah you're now you open for Justin Rutledge um, yeah remember? yeah in February yeah um, how which... did you how did you do that for the business side um, so it's really kind of getting your name out there. Like I've been really lucky that people have been really generous towards me. Yeah. Um, so we had a friend, he was organizing a, an event at the Belleville Club and then he knew that I loved Justin Rutledge so he let me open up for That's him which awesome. was great. Um, yeah and then I applied for the Festival of Small Halls. Um, that's another thing so you just kind of kind of take a chance on that. So I applied for that, didn't know where it was going to go, and now I'm going to be opening up for Rose Cousins in the fall. <gasps> Are and, you uh, serious? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and she's one of my favorite artists. Yeah, so. she's, th those, they play, I saw them playing, that's amazing. Um, now going back to, you said something about um, putting yourself out there. Who encouraged you to, how did you know to apply to these things? How do you stay plugged in? Um, well, my mom kind of always keeps her ear to the ground for me, which I appreciate. Um, but yeah, just kind of word of mouth too. Like people uh, encourage me to do that. And then I, I also like watch for my favorite artists, like where they play and stuff. And that kind of gives me an idea of what the venues are like and, and what they would expect. So. And now it's female entrepreneurs in small towns. And I have to ask you, you talk about, you know, people have helped you out and whatnot. Do you think a lot of, you know, um, the momentum has been attributed to being in a smaller town, being in somewhere like Kingston? Mm -hmm. Do you think it would be different being in Toronto? Oh, uh, I think it definitely might be, yeah, because it's, I think the, demographic of young people in music would be a lot larger but still Kingston the music scene is pretty pretty it's pretty vibrant, vibrant. Yeah. yeah yeah and I feel like has there, there's been a lot of people helping you out in Kingston right it feels that way or in the oh area. yeah well it's Plugging. so fun yeah a lot of people um, are there's a huge music scene but I feel like you said people are looking out for you and getting new gigs as well yeah which I really appreciate um, 
But yeah, I remember um, I, f I went to go see a show at the mansion, I think it was Lost Cousins a couple weeks ago, and I heard people talking, and they were like, yeah, like, playing in Kingston, that's a big deal. Like, really? the, the people, <laughs> yeah, the openers were saying that. That's um, really cool. Yeah, so it's cool. I'm like, oh. <laughs> You're like, this is exciting. Yeah. I'm doing that. Yeah. Now, there's going to be some musicians listening in just before we wrap this up. What advice, especially for a young artist for you, a young musician, a young entrepreneur, what advice can you share with anyone listening and, you know, if they want to put themselves out there? Um, I would say, I don't know, just kind of have the confidence in yourself. Like know that if you love doing something, just keep on doing it and people will kind of take notice. Um, and even if they don't, just do what you love to do. And um, things will happen from yeah. there. I think so maybe it's it's perfect. It's yeah. um, simple but so true. Thank you for listening and Julie, thanks for coming on. This is awesome. Oh thanks we'll for having me. Yeah. Give me a hug, girl. <laughs> Thank you.